Okay, we're gonna talk about some of the heat Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is is getting because I was I was a little surprised. From what I can tell, they just kind of cleaned up the graphics a little bit and then threw them all out there. But it's not working. It's all broken. Let's see if we can even find a positive one. And we know it's oh, there they are. <laughs> this is Steam for you. Nobody is going to read this, so I'm just gonna say that I'm gay. <laughs> it's recommended. He's so full of shit. Oh, I got Mama Nugget. She's coming in hard. She wants to be a part of this action. Every time, every time I do one of these videos with a camera, she jumps on. She jumps on. This game right here that just came out is uh, is struggling mightily. Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic 2005 has been on Steam for a long time and was working the last time I checked. People were really looking forward to kind of grabbing some of that nostalgia back from the, the mid-2000s, you know? This, this game was arguably probably the better of the Star Wars games. I think Knights of the Old Republic and this were two of the best that have ever been made. Not not the online Knights of the Old Republic MMO free to play thing. I'm sure that's fine, but that that's not nearly as beloved as the Knights of the Old Republic one and two. I don't know. I'm wearing a parka. I'm sorry. In my underground lair, it's really cold. We'll look at the new game. Read some of the reviews. It's getting hammered right now. It's it's getting fucking its butthole is getting dilated hard. I've already seen this, and I know you guys probably have too. It just looks like slightly upscaled graphics is all. Nothing too crazy. You know, it could be fun. I mean, games like this, even if the graphics aren't good, it's, you know, some of the, some of the best games that you'll play are, they aren't super high-end developer behind, you know, remaking this, or not remaking it, but re-releasing it, basically. <laughs> look at the price point here. Look at this shit. It's $35 and one cent. What is that one cent for? Didn't they learn the one thing in marketing? You always make it one lower and 99 cents. So $34.99. So let me get this straight. You launched this game with only three servers on PC, knowing full well people only bought it for that sole reason. Peak Comedy Gold. Yeah, I mean, people only bought it. They didn't buy this game for the single player. They bought it for the multiplayer because the multiplayer was actually a lot of fun back in the day. Dead on arrival. Yeah, it's going to die. It's going to be dead. I mean, the word is already getting out there. Don't fucking bother with this game. I'm not a business genius, but you could probably have have at least some servers ready at launch so that you can people can actually play your game. I don't usually take Steam reviews all that much. I take them with a grain of salt usually, unless it's this bad. If it's this fucking bad, it's one of two things. Either it's a mass boycott because somebody said something, then they're they're protesting the devs, or the game is really that bad. Let's go over to the let's let's go over to the battle 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 star. Why do I want to keep saying battle star? Battlefront 2 Classic, which is a better price point, a much better price point at $9.99. I tried it out for an hour on the multiplayer, and it worked fine. At least when I tried it, it did. Let's go to the community hub. I know people are probably roasting that game on here, too. Okay, here's one right here off the bat. How does this game compare to Battlefront Classic Collection? I assume the new game is better. But if I already own this, is the new game worth buying? Well, let's, let's see what the Steam community is. They're helping this guy out. They're saying the same things. Only three servers up currently, unable to play on them. This works online, the new one doesn't. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, that's why it says, it says exactly what I said. It, it's had a working multiplayer for a year. Why is everybody misinformed and think the new repackaged scam is the only way to play multiplayer? Ironically, the new thing doesn't even work online. I'm seeing that there's a lot of frame rates, even on the single player that drops down to like 15. 13 here this guy said 13 they tried and they failed hard you see games like let's take skyrim for instance a game that shouldn't even be relevant anymore but it still is you still got thousands of people a day that play that fucking game because the modding community took it over and made it something much better than it was but the modding community could figure it out and most of the stuff they do is for free or they go through a donation basis on patreon and they are they're able to get games working and the ui they fix ui issues and graphics and cutscenes, and they do all this shit so the modding community has been able to figure it out and those are individuals or sometimes little teams of individuals that fix games that they're passionate about and want to work right so they put their money where their mouth is and fix these games and then you got Companies like this that work with other companies, like Aspire, I don't know who they're fucking owned by, doesn't really matter. And they can't even put out a decent, decent just port of a PS2 game. It's insane. I'm getting dick pics right now. God, show me some big wiener. If you want to play a Star Wars game and you want an old one, just play the 2005 classic one, Battlefront 2. That's my suggestion. Till we meet again.